Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I just want to start the video by saying thank you guys for the uh, uh, support lately you've been guys showing on my channel, and thank you for 1,000 uh, subscribers on my channel, that is that is such a big number. Um, of course you guys know me, I don't feel really do YouTube as that much, uh, I mainly live stream on uh, Twitch, and... Thanks to Joel's dude for giving me, you know, that latest shout out. I would have not, well, I was actually really close to 1,000 even before the shout out. But welcome to all, uh, all new people to my, uh, to my channel. Um, yeah, I mainly do uh, Borderlands content, so Borderlands one, two, and pre sequel, and hopefully future Borderlands content. Um, but today, uh, I decided, um, you know, I'm probably gonna do a 1K special episode because I couldn't think of anything else but I decided to do top five gear for uh Salvador that I like to use on him. Just maybe insightful because maybe you're getting bored of using the Herald multiple times and everything like that. So uh let's get started, shall we? And um hopefully I'll be uh more active on YouTube. I'll upload at least one video a day. Um maybe more but I try to keep it into one video a day just so, you know, I don't spam videos all day. And I'm still trying to learn how to video edit, so, um, yeah, so, <laughs> kind of be patient with me. Um, so the first weapon, or I guess uh, since this is top five, this is my number five weapon, which is the Aquamarine Snyder. Now this thing, other than the fact that it just looks so fucking beautiful, is the fact that this is just a normal Malawan sniper, but it's the gemstone version of it. And this thing can put out a lot of damage with Salvador, especially with uh, no kill like overkill and you know all of Salvador's other skills and let me see if I can't go to money shot. Yeah look at that. It does uh tons amount of damage uh especially um Especially if you have a corrosive version of this, especially on loaders. And if you hold a lady fist and a grog nozzle with this, of course this thing's gonna be beautiful in combat. I don't know. It's uh I really like this weapon. Um Yeah. I would show it on combat, but yeah, it's alright. Uh my number four one is actually the ogre. If I can if I can find it. Uh by the way, just before I move on to the uh, ogre, you get this from Bustalion, or at least uh, the gemstone of it. If you want a normal sniper, you get it. Just it's just a purple drop. Yeah, so number four is the ogre, which uh, that's <laughs> that's not the ogre. Uh, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah, you got a stupid menu glitch. Is the ogre, which is an assault rifle that just can put out a billion amount of damage, pretty much. Not. Literally though, but it could it could put out a lot of damage and it has that special effect of it. Where I don't know if I can get it to activate. But whatever. Uh with Salvador's fire rate skills, you can you can definitely put this into the field with uh yep, there you go, that's the special effect. You can definitely uh see the potential in this, especially because if you're a fan of the Herald, um You'll understand why I like the Ogre because it's uh, it's an easy to use weapon. It uh, it puts out a lot of damage and it doesn't chew through your ammo because this only consumes one ammo per shot. And once you get like a no killer cover kill thing on it, this thing just shines. And you can get it from uh, the Warlock and I th think it's in the fourth round of the badass or yeah the fourth wave of the badass round. We can uh, he uh, the guy that spawns uh, I forgot his name but. War, warlord something you can drop this but yeah this is a very very nice weapon now moving on to number three this is actually um, gonna be a very surprising one because as you can see it's a it's a it's an e-tech sniper but this is but this is actually not just a normal e-tech sniper this is the Maloka which is if you haven't seen already, I use this a lot in my OP8 runs. Um, the reason why this is so good is because if you wear our fighter with this, you'll actually have a 50% chance to not consume ammo. If it can trigger. I'm probably not expecting to it. Nope, I'm not expecting to inconceivable. 
But if you spec into inconceivable and use this pretty much with you know with money shot and all that, you can see that you know it can sometimes chain money shot and you can you, you can use this for uh for money shot chains a lot too and uh it also penetrates shield so you want you actually want stability parts on this but this is this is a very good sniper um you could definitely give it a try it's one of this hidden gems that, that that this is only good with salvador i found i i don't think i can find another use of it still has the type c crit modifier so your lady fist and is going to do 400% Instead of 800%, which is the only the, the only downside to it. So, <laughs> it's pretty much like using uh, the Lady Fist before the loot hunt with it. Because they did buff the Lady Fist from 400% to 800%. But yeah, this is, this is a very nice uh, sniper for Tiny Tina DLC. Because most of the enemies in there have, uh, you have to knock off their helmet. And with this, you can just penetrate right through them. So you don't have to fear that. Alright, so moving on to my second favorite weapon, which is the Butcher. Now, this thing is absolutely insane with Salvador. And you can probably know why, it's probably because of the fire rate and the fact that, you know, once you get like a no kill, like overkill kill, and uh, you, can, you can make this weapon really shine, especially because you can... It fires a lot, and if you hold the lady fist, it'll amplify the damage of it. It's this, this thing is just all over amazing. It works very well with uh, five trust or six too. <laughs> Makes it so you can fire this thing for days. And my number one weapon is the conference call. This thing is my absolute favorite weapon to use on Salvador because this thing is a raid boss killer as well. Now this thing. Now people, a lot of people say that this thing has got nerfed because of the B nerf, but this this thing is still as powerful as it was even before the B nerf. And this thing can actually kill Terramorphous within two phases, I think, like minimum at least one minute. And I just absolutely love this gun. It's just the way it fires, just uh, and the insane fire that it has. This is pretty much like a like a really good thinking. Thinking is the uh, Hyperion shotgun, and plus I really like this gun. So yeah, there you have it. That's uh, that's my top five weapon picks for uh, for Salvador. Just so if you uh, if you get bored using you know this little thing, <laughs> because I know uh, this is like the meta for Salvador is pretty much just uh, Harold and a Grog. Um, I like to switch it up. That's why I have a, a lot of variety of weapons in here, just so I don't do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> and don't ask why I have Fate Wanderlust. I was actually testing the amp glitch. On the Wanda lesson, apparently it works. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, these are my uh, top picks for weapons for uh, for Salvador. I'm, it's sad that I couldn't uh, record some some uh, moments of me actually like mobbing with these weapons. But uh, I do use these weapons quite a lot, heavily on my live streams. So like most of you guys probably already know how these weapons perform. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you again for 1,000 subscribers, guys. Like, I, I really appreciate the subs, especially if you're coming from Joel's Dude. Welcome to my channel. And yeah, make sure to leave a like on the channel, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.